Welcome to this little instructional video. Today I will show you how you can connect the switches from Atta Custom Design to your FM3, FM9 or XFX or to one of the foot switches, which exactly works the same on all devices. Almost. I will, I will tell you the specifics when we get to it. So I have here on the floor the uh, two switch version and the two expression knob versions of the switches and I will use them as an example for you to configure all of those switches. I will now go on the floor and you will only see the FM3 which I use as an example and the two switches. And you will hopefully hear me through my little mic here. Okay, here we have an FM3 and I have connected this switch which has two um, buttons which are uh, close and open. I have already configured them but I will show you how it works. And I have this one which has two expression knobs of which we only use the upper one. It works exactly the same on the lower one. You just have to switch to a different cable or you can use only those and not those and have two expression knobs where you can uh, assign volume and everything you like. Okay, first you have to make sure that the FM3 is configured in the right way. I show you as an example the FM3, it works the same on the other foot controllers or on the other devices. We go to the home screen, home screen, then we go to setup and the first one you have to access is IO, where you hit enter and then you scroll with the page button to pedal. Now you have a pedal one and a pedal two, which are the two jacks here behind. You have uh, four jacks on an FC6 or FC12 and you have three jacks on the FM9, which are a little special and we will come to that. First, let's do it on the FM3 where it works as with the other switches. I will show you everything about that. Okay, pedal one set up and I have the switches connect there. So it has to be set up as two switches, tip and ring. And tip and ring, so tip and ring means, means this. You have the tip, the ring, and this is sleeve. Okay, put it in again. So two buttons, two switches, tip and ring. Calibrate pedal, you can leave that when you use switches, they know that don't have to be calibrated. So now comes the important part, which drove me crazy a while ago. Switch one tip behavior, you leave that as it is, it says follow hardware and then on switch one tip polarity you have to set it to normally open momentary make, not normally closed momentary break. Normally open momentary make and the same thing with the ring polarity, normally open momentary make. This is where it has to be set to or it will not work the way it's supposed to. Okay? Good. On the second jack, I have connected this expression ring, right? Expression knob. So here I have to set it to expression pedal, even if it's just a knob and not a pedal, it doesn't matter. There are only two options, so you have a switch, or no, three options. One switch, two switches and expression, so it has to be set to expression. And then you have to calibrate the pedal, which you do by just putting, uh, clicking enter and then moving the knob to the range of motion. So one time low all the way and one time up all the way and then you hit enter and the pedal is calibrated or more the knob is calibrated. Okay, good. Let's now see what we can access with those switches. They are called stand-in switches, which means they stand in for another switch. So they actually double another switch in the FM3 or in an FC6 or in FC12. So on every fractal audio unit, let's take for example the FC12, you have eight, no, nine layouts with 12 buttons. And you can choose, can choose one of those functions. So 9 times 12, how much is that? Something over 100. <laughs> you can choose that over 100 functions and you can say which function this button should double. 
That's the thing stand in switches are for. And it will double the, the push function and the hold function. So the tap function and the hold function, both of them, it will double. So how do you do that? You go to FC controllers, onboard switches. That's the first step you have to do. Then you put in the following. You see here, my switch is connected to FM3 switch one, which is here to check behind it. FM3 switch one tip, and you have FM3, FM3 switch one ring. And then you choose from which layout you wanna double a function here. So I wanna double the function layout one presets and button 12 and button 11, which is now at the moment unassigned. Okay, so we will choose a different one. Let's just choose one and choose two here just to show you that it works. Okay. And you see now that it just switches between those two presets. And even if I'm automatically, which I have used an um, advanced function here on the FM3, which is called layout linking, even if we here on layout two, the scenes, right? We are not on layout one anymore. This is layout one, this is layout two. Even then, it takes the functions of layout one and operates them. You see here, zero, preset, and preset one. Okay, so I just configured this switch the right way. And also, we have a hold function here. Oh, no, that was the wrong one. We have a hold function here. So if I hold, I'm going minus one on the bank. Let's see. And you see, it just changed the bank. You see here, it changed to the bank empty. So, stand-in switch works. That's the way it's gonna be set up. Now let's see if this one works as well, okay? So, uh, as you may know or may not know, if you wanna configure an expression pedal or an expression knob to work with all the presets in the FM3, you have to set it to external control one. So we go to exit here, we go to setup here, and we go to MIDI remote and hit enter. Okay, you're with me? Still with me? <laughs> and then we hit. External, okay? And then let's, let, let me just delete that none so I can do it from the beginning. And we want this knob here to control everything that's set up to external control one, which some of the presets have, right? So we just put it here. Pedal one, it's not it. That's the switches. No, we want, don't want that. We want pedal two, which is the expression knob. That's it, exit. And now I'm going into the presets and I happen to know presets that here on the base guy, there is a Wawa attached to external one, right? I'm going to layout and I'm here going to the Wawa. Oh, you can already see if I like just move it, it auto engages because that's the way it's set up and I can hit edit. And here you can see that the wall control is attached to the expression knob. There's no latency whatsoever, it's, it's perfect. Okay. You could also assign it to another one. And I press modifier here. It's set to external one. I can detach that here, right? Go back and then maybe just go to some, something completely different. Let's go to exit. Let's go to AMP, let's go to ENTER, no, not ENTER, sorry, EDIT, EXIT, EDIT, let's go to EDIT, and then I wanna attach the level control here, this level control, say MODIFIER, say EXTERNAL ONE, ENTER, EXIT, and then you see that I now can adjust the level here. You can also set a minimum value and then maximum value. 
oh here minimum and maximum so you want the minimum volume volume to be minus 12 and the maximum value to be minus 9 right okay and you see now it just goes from minus 12 to minus 9 and you have set up your expression knob. It works the same when you want to attach it to for example an FC6. I have an FC6 here and I will now just switch the cables to the FC6. Okay and we now will configure the switches when they are connected to an FC6 in this case or FC12 it doesn't matter. Okay you go to setup and you go to FC controllers onboard switches enter and from the beginning let's do it from the beginning we have first go to remote and the switches are here external switch because the pedals have a different different jack as well on the FC6 so you have to put it in switch 1 and 2 or switch 3 and 4 not in pedals do not put the switches in the jacks from the pedals it's wrong okay and then you here have external switch behavior you leave it at follow hardware and then you say switch one polarity normally open momentary make it has to be set like this otherwise it will not work okay normally open momentary make then you go to switch two and you set the same thing okay now you go to the stand-in switches and configure what you want to control layout one presets or let, let's just do another example. Let's do layout two scenes and let's do scene select one, scene select two. Okay, let's go back here. Exit, exit. We are on layout two here. We have scene one, scene two, and you now can switch between the scenes. I don't think they have a, a function selected. No, they don't have. Oh, hit this one should have master layout. No, it doesn't. Okay, they have only scene one and scene two and you can switch between them. So it's actually the same thing, just that it's found at a different position where you have set up FC controllers onboard switches. You configure it with remote, external switch polarity, right? External switch one, external switch two, and you can do it for three and four if you have more of those switches available to you. And that's it. Okay, same thing, much easier for the pedal. I have put it in pedal 2 at this point. Pedal 2 type continuous and pedal 2 calibration is press enter and you can see it works the same way. Hit enter and it's calibrated. And now just the last step if you want to now assign that in the right way you go to MIDI remote enter and then you don't do X pedal 2 here you do FC1 pedal 2 because it's the first foot switch that is connected and pedal 2 of this foot switch and if we now go to our preset which is now empty doesn't matter we go to uh, presets and we are gonna set up the base guy again right Go to layout and now let me control uh, the wawa should work as well right let's detach the wawa again edit bar control modifier and say none exit then we go to exit let's uh, control something else let's let's control from the chorus edit the rate. Let's control the rate of the chorus. Okay, modifier, let's say external one, enter. So I know it's a little bit um, more complicated to assign it to external one, but then all the presets work with the knob. Otherwise, you would have to configure it as, uh, where is it, as FC1 pedal 2. 
And it's just a placeholder, this external one, where you can uh, program your presets always with external one as your, as your um, expression source, right? And then you can just use it everywhere. You could also like attach it like this and say FC1 pedal one or FC1 pedal two, if you're just using one foot switch and don't wanna have that function at all in the other place. Okay, so, and that is how you configure the Otto custom design switches. There is an exception to this. If you have an FM9 and it's just in the FM9, those jacks for the pedals are not for two foot switches. So you can't use a TRS cable, you have to use a TS cable. And you can only attach one foot switch per jack. It's an exception. I don't know why that is actually. I don't have any idea. But with the FM9, you have to use a different thing. So you either have to use like a, a cable that has a stereo on the one and then two mono jacks on the other end, an adapter, so to say, or you have to use the special switch Atta makes for the FM9, which has just two jacks when you can connect two cables and then one expression knob. Okay. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you want to know something about me, I'm normally a German YouTuber. You may have guessed from my uh, accent. And I'm normally not doing videos in English. So sorry for my English. And uh, I want to explain it to you for uh, the cool guy from Auto Custom Design who was so kind to send me some of his switches in exchange for that video. So full disclosure. And um, those switches are really good. I've been using them since they exist actually and uh, I haven't had any problems with them. Okay, take care, cheers, bye.